Send a script. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of Wrestling Classic, just here. I'm here with another member of the Cheap Heat Podcast. Another member? I have Dip on. We're going to bring nice. that up in a second. All right. I'm here with uh, uh, Stat Guy Greg, the Stat Guy, my fellow Bret Hart, Christian Of Otto. course, of course. Uh, let's start with what Dip said. He said that you were almost convinced that Roman's retaining the title. He lied to you. Are you not convinced? I'm not almost convinced. Okay. I'm fully convinced okay. that he's winning the title. Why do you feel that way? Because, you know, I got my tinfoil hat on. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm deep in the conspiracy theories. Yeah. And I believe that Roman is not done telling his story. And he's going to finish his story before Cody gets to finish his story. Do you not feel at any way that if Cody doesn't finish the story this year, like that momentum's like just gone? Like he can't do another year of side quests and like us still being like, next year at WrestleMania is gonna finish the story. No, I, I don't feel that way at all, right? Because like you said, you, you said the word side quest. At the end of the day, this is a TV show. These are characters. Yeah. People are investing into that. And I don't think that Cody losing this year and, and is going to delay his momentum. It, I don't think it's going to make people fall out of love with him. I don't think it's going to do any of that. In fact, we've seen this in wrestling before. Yeah. We've seen it with The Rock. Yeah. Three, mes three WrestleManias in a row. He went into WrestleMania and lost in the main event. He did. 15, 16, 17. He twice did. to Stone Cold. Yeah. So, if any, and, and look what The Rock is now, right? He's the final boss. He's the hottest thing smoking. His yeah. legacy isn't tarnished at all yeah. by those facts. Like, this is just facts. Because I get what you're saying. Cause I think, like, I always say, I think there's an art in losing but staying over. And, or, like, you know, I always say WrestleMania 7. Like, Savage lost that match, but overall, in the story, Savage is over because that whole Elizabeth part. That's why more over than Warrior even winning. Yeah. So, I get what you're saying, but also in The Rock example, but the Rock went from heel to face to, you know what I mean? Like, does Cody just try to stay being the top baby face? I think Cody will stay being the top baby face, right? Because as much as people want to see him and celebrate him and go to the mountaintop with him, that particular moment is fleeting, yeah. right? It comes and it goes just like that, and then who knows how people are gonna feel with him after he after he achieves that dream. Yeah. But if if he has to suffer and go through adversity and he keeps getting robbed, I think, like you said, there is an art to it, and that almost does as much, if not more, than a big win yeah. to get people to fall in love with a baby face. And to use the word art, <laughs> WWE is Rembrandt, WWE is Picasso, WWE yeah. is Van Gogh. The, we're dealing with the greatest artist when it comes to this art form. Yeah. So if anybody knows how to craft a loss in a way that makes it so that the person doesn't lose anything, let alone momentum, it's WWE. That's fair. Do you think, um, is there any other match you're looking forward to you this uh, weekend? Listen, this is a really stacked card, it is. honestly. I think, I think if you ask somebody that question, the appropriate answer really is all of them, That's right? I, I was in the room with you yeah. when LA Knight yeah. and AJ Styles yeah. had that epic brawl. They, they, they dented the wall. Yeah. AJ left bloody. Yeah. He lost his shirt. The, I, you know, I stepped in the room. I was on one side of the room and I saw everybody take their cell phones and do this. And I said, LA, a LA moment Knight is happening to be right there now. New media and I don't think anybody got an interview with LA Knight. They just started fighting. Yeah, no, they, they just started brawling right there in front of media yeah and so that match has to be a match that jumps up to the top of people's list when people see this on smackdown because you know they gotta air it yeah um but then the the six women tag match right jay cargill's debut that's huge it's gonna be huge yeah and it's a huge vote of confidence that she's in there with bianca with naomi established stars champions yeah you know the tag team champions the yeah. women's tag team champions dakota Cotton. So that's also going to be huge. Last 
question. We we'll wrap this up. Which Uso is going over? Jimmy or Jay? Cause that's a tough one for me. Cause I'm like, yo, like Jay's already like so over. Like a W really, it, it'll be dope, but it doesn't really like do anything for him. Jimmy kind of needs us something. Now history lesson: every brother versus brother match, the brother you didn't expect to win, win one. Owen beat Brett. Matt beat Jeff. So let me ask you this then: which brother? Cause Owen was the heel. Was Matt also the heel? The heel. I guess that's the answer, right? If Jimmy Uso. Tradition, then Jimmy Uso. There you go. It's a pleasure having you on here. Appreciate yeah. your time. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. No problem. Sweet.